in every season, there is always a time when chili really sounds like the right meal at the right time. James Phelan from Seattle has got Wildwood Chili. Uh, that sounds like it might have a little something to it there, James. Uh, what, what, uh, where, where'd you get the recipe? Let's do the start with that. I got the recipe years ago when I was working as a cook in Wyoming, right outside of Cody, I believe it was. Oh, I love Cody, I love that whole area. And there was an old cook there who had these cowboy recipes, oh, and man. chili was among one of his best. And so he shared the recipe with me, and I've been using it ever since over and the years. And now you're going to share it with everybody. Thank you That's very right. much for that. Okay, let, let's start cooking here. You're, you're doing something so what, over here. So where do we start? We start with about a pound of beef. Okay, this is ground beef? It, it's ground beef. Mm -hmm. And we heat it up until it's brown. Okay. And then we drain it. All right. And this looks like this is pretty low fat ground beef. There's not much fat in here. Nope. Yes, that's right. So let's pretend that we've drained this. Okay. okay. And uh, what happens next? And then we pour 16 ounces or a can of red beans into it. Okay. Juice and everything? Yes. Okay. Wow, Love aren't those beans. pretty? Love red beans. I'll take that for you. And we pour a can or 16 ounces of refried oh, beans. Now see, also I've known never as, seen refried beans in a chili recipe before. It's pinto beans, and you can get them in a can. You don't have to swell sure. them. Okay. But it sounds like it does belong in chili for some reason. I, I've it, never heard of it. This is going to be a really hearty chili. In this chili. <laughs> okay. Oh my, we got and, some hot stuff coming up here. And then we have a small can of tomato sauce. All right, here you go, sir. Okay. Onions, good onions. Mm. And some beautiful fresh onions. Mm -hmm. And we add a half a cup of onions into it. Okay. Put those right in there. Thank you. And we mix it up. Smells and we, pretty good out there, huh? It smells great down no, here. No. Huh? This is four hours of aromatherapy, folks. It, it really is. It's, it's, this is a wonderful four hours of the week, let me tell you. It is. Okay, what goes in here next once we're all mixed up there? Now we add a bunch of spices. We start oh. off with chili powder. Chili powder, yum. And some red hot pepper. Ooh, uh -huh. this is cayenne? This is the cayenne here, but oh. that's also mixed with cayenne. <laughs> nice, very nice. It's a ground. A little cayenne there? And, yes. Uh -huh. And what's this? This is also a cayenne. A different it's, cayenne? It's, it's a different one. It looks Chili. like that might be kind oh. of a hotter one, too. Yes, we used a lot less a, of it. It's a hot. It's very hot. Okay. And then we add some salt. Mm-hmm. Along with some garlic salt. Okay. Oh, what a good idea and some black pepper. He's being very judicious with the black pepper here. <laughs> yes, it doesn't take much molasses? black pepper. Yes, this is molasses. Oh, nice. This will sweeten oh, it up a little, but it'll also just... blend the taste of all these different spices mm -hmm. to give it a very rich, deep taste to it. Now that's if something there, else I haven't seen in a chili recipe before. That's probably it right there. Yes, it is. I've, I've never heard the, of that in a recipe The secret to this chili, chili yeah. It's been entered in two Ooh. contests and came in first place twice. Really nice job. Yes. Uh huh. Very nice job. Oh, wow. <laughs> She's going to keep the whole pan for herself here. I am. Yeah. They'll it's be arm wrestling later. And it is truly a very special cowboy type of chili. So then, for, do we simmer this? For how long would we simmer it? You simmer it for an hour. Okay. Mm -hmm. So it's a slow cook. And it ends up being nice and thick like the, the pan that you've got over yeah, on the other Yeah, I mean, it's all, yes, it, it does. started out nice and thick. Yep. Wow, this is going to be amazing. There's also, there's also, excuse me, some water, a cup of water. Okay. Have you changed this recipe from the, the gentleman in Wyoming at no, all? No, it hasn't really? been modified at all. <laughs> if there's any modification, you might want to put just a little bit more molasses in it, mm -hmm. rather than like I have one tablespoon, but up to two tablespoons might do it. It might take away the hotter taste if some of you like a more mild taste, but that's the only thing that changed. Okay. Water. It has a beautiful color to it. 
So I understand there's a story behind this chili. Yes, it's called Wildwood Chili. And I imagine it's from Wyoming. Uh -huh. Wildwood trees or whatever they have around. It's a beautiful part of the country. It is gorgeous. Cody's a great area. Probably yeah. been made on a cowboy campfire. Uh, the, it probably was. The, uh, the person that I got the recipe from was really an authentic cook who mm -hmm. cooked all these old recipes that cowboys and people on wagon trains used to eat and it is truly authentic so if you guys ever watch the searchers or wagon train and yeah. you see them eating chili this, this is the is stuff it. is what they're eating here this is what it tastes like well wow. or, or they can tune you in and have you watch it or have them watch you eat it because oh that looks so good and a good bowl of chili is good any time of the year yes any indeed. time of the year it's, it's, it's a wonderful satisfying lunch or dinner yes, it is. so james when you serve this chili do you put something on the side with it or you get uh, bread. Cowboy butter. cornbread. That's, that's about it. It's very fair. Okay. Filling. Well, this this sounds really, really great. Are we ready to try it, George? I, I think so. Okay. I think we are. Let me just show them the finished version here. Oh, look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? See, it just gets more and more yummy. I'll bet where you worked with in Wyoming, they sold a lot of this chili. Oh, no doubt. <laughs> I mean, when, when I worked in the kitchen, the diner was just full of people who bought this chili. Yeah. I mean, this it made This would be rich. one of those things that I would have a hard time not ordering every time I went there. Yeah, if it's that good, you bet. I'm like that. I, if I find something really good in a restaurant, amazing. I'm a creature of habit, I guess. But. Just doesn't get any better than that. So, if you'd uh, like some chili in that bowl, well, I think you can do I would. that. Now, can you simmer what uh, Carol and this. you have been working on there, James? Is about an hour, did you say? That's that? right. About and, an hour. You want to how, how does that store? In the refrigerator? Or in, That's right. Or in the refrigerator, it stores real well. And reheat it? That's right. Uh, that, that would make a, a built in meal. Mm -hmm. in an emergency whenever, okay? It's real good. I have a larger weather. spoon that's almost thick, No, that's almost thick <laughs> enough for to have a, a fork. It really is. It's, I'm going to like this. James, this looks great. Mm. Mm. Oh, really, really nice. If you're expecting <coughs> a, a real bite to this, it's not there. But it is wonderful taste. And after you take a bite, there's a little bit of a bite, okay? It kind of sneaks up on you. You don't mind if I just stand here and eat, do you? Really, this has been a show <laughs> that you will, if, if, if you take this tape and the book and take it to your home, tape, listen to me, DVD and the book, uh, you will have something in your kitchen that maybe a lot of the neighbors won't have. And all of a sudden you're gonna find them coming over knocking on the door saying, can I borrow that book for a minute? I want to just see that. Well, tell them to call us, okay? Yeah. <laughs> and, and you keep your book for yourself. 1-800-443-1999. You'll have more fun with this cookbook than any book you've ever bought in your life. And thank you, James, very much. Thank this you, is James. a treat. Thank you guys you. are more than welcome. Mm -hmm. Thank you.